and good morning Silas here today I'm at a consignment sale I've shown you guys lots of farm sales but I've never really shown you a typical consignment sale in this area so I had a little bit of time I won't have time to stick around for the auction but I figured I could come out here and kind of show you what's at a consignment sale at least the way these consignment sales work around here is you have bunches of hay trailers like this packed clear full of stuff you never know what's gonna be here this is a general consignment so it's whatever you want to bring You'll find tools, you'll find antiques, you'll find household stuff, you'll find car stuff sometimes, like here's a bunch of car stuff. You never know what you're going to find. You'll find boxes of just miscellaneous scrap, a bunch of starters, I mean you name it. You'll find it out here. If I see anything really cool, I can always leave a bid on it. But you can't leave a bid on everything you want because it just gets too complicated. Boxes. What is it? Oh, jumper cables. Don't see anything good yet. Check this out. That's kind of cool. Breeze clamps. Huh. See, back in the day, I would come to these sales and you could buy stuff like this for pretty cheap. You know, that's in like this turbo. I mean, that's five to twenty dollar items each, and then you can turn around and sell them online for a hundred, two hundred, whatever they're worth. But. I just don't really do that much anymore, but boy, back in the day, I did that all the time. There's a rattlesnake. Kind of a small one, but... Luckily, we don't have rattlesnakes in this part of the state. Those are more out west and down south. What's in here? Oh, a pair of binoculars? Yeah, back in the day, this is how I made extra money. Before I did YouTube, before I did antique cars, before I did any of that sort of stuff, I would come to these auctions and buy trinkets and small stuff and sell them online. Any good license plates here? In the vest? That's kind of neat. See, like this here, this is something I would definitely bid on if I was local. That's pretty cool. Power. Huh. Yeah, I kind of wish I could stay for the sale, but I've got too much going on today. It's the I'm filming this the Saturday before Easter, and we have a ton of stuff to get ready for our church. We're in charge of some stuff, so uh, I don't really have time to be here bidding on stuff. i got to get home and get stuff ready. But as you can see, it goes on and on and on. This whole area is just clear full of stuff. <laughs> Tons of stuff. We haven't even scratched the surface. So let's keep working through here. It's a mix of everything, that's for sure. This is Morris Yoder consignment sale out here. It's probably the biggest one around anymore. It's probably the only one in this local area, at least. A bunch of old fishing stuff. This is kind of cool. I'm getting ready to go on a couple fishing trips and camping trips. So I'll be filming all that and putting it on this channel as well. So stay tuned for that. A bunch of patches. See, that's that's good. Good money maker stuff there for online sales. But anyway, there used to be a ton of consignment sales around here, but most of them, have, either the guys retired or they went under or whatever reason, so this one here is just kind of taken over, so now everything in this local area comes with this one. Little Tootsie Toys. See, when I would come to these sales, I would buy stuff like this. This sort of stuff used to sell so good, and just a, a pile of clothespins would sell so good on eBay back in the day. I don't know if they still do or not. I'm so out of the loop anymore, I don't know what's popular. There's a lot of household knickknack type stuff in here. Well, these are neat. Old hand, hand carved wooden trays and bowls and stuff. Yeah, this is more like the knickknack type stuff that's in here. They'll probably have at least three rings running, maybe four. So a lot of times it's really hard. You kind of have to either bring somebody with you or you have to pick and choose where you're going to bid on stuff. And when I would come to these sales, I'll be running all over the place back and forth. This is a good box here. There's a lot of good... Some of these semis here are probably worth pretty good money.
What's this? I don't know what those are. Maybe projectors? Can't quite tell. But yeah, this stuff here isn't all that exciting, so let's get outside to the more exciting stuff. He also has an antique consignment sale where it's nothing but antiques. But that was a little bit earlier in the year, and I was at a different auction that day. There's something that might be interesting. Pepsi Cola. I wonder if it's original or a homemade one. Uh, it looks like it might be original. Somebody's repainted it, obviously. But uh, I think the unit itself is actually an original. That's interesting. That'll go for big money, though. There will be tons and tons of people here. Yeah, they'll probably have a ring inside the building, a ring on the trailers, and a ring out here selling this stuff. There's a ton of tractors coming in. People getting ready for the sale. I haven't really seen anything crazy good yet. I've noticed at this sale that stuff usually goes pretty cheap at the very beginning before people really get here. It starts at 9 a.m. It's about 7.30 right now. There's a whole row of stuff on the back row. Oh, there's a Dodge truck bed back here. I'll have to check that out. But anyway, stuff goes super cheap in the beginning, then it starts going high, and then when they split up, stuff starts going cheap again. Like one time I came out here and they had two pallets of these, and I'm not talking little pallets like these, I'm talking huge pallets. I think I gave 25 bucks per pallet, and I sold those things for like 40 bucks each for each unit. Made a ton of money off of that deal. And I'm sure, once again, they're not going to sell this stuff back here until late in the afternoon. So a guy would probably get those pretty cheap once again. Like this truck bed trailer. I imagine this isn't going to go for more than probably 100 bucks or so. 150 It's got a Dodge tailgate on it that's pretty nice. I might leave a bet on this. That tailgate is probably worth a couple hundred bucks to me by itself. See, so yeah, I might, might leave a... $200 bid on this unit. See if I can get it. Let's walk down here see what else we can find. Yeah, the antique consignment sale. With well, that one, you come out here. This is row after row after row of nothing but antiques. Primitives and antiques, things like that. So stuff like this over here, there's just tons of stuff like that and cooler stuff even. But they have it suctioned off to where whatever you bring, they put a post in the ground and then everything after that post all belongs to one person. And that's how they organize it and they put a tag on most of the items that way people can't rearrange stuff and put stuff where they want it to be here's a good pile of motorcycle stuff that's a good chunk of ebay money there i wish i could find somebody that would do ebay for me because i would get back into it because i've got a ton of stuff in storage ready to sell but i can't find anybody to do it for me Anybody who knows how to do it is already doing it on their own. They don't have time to sell somebody else's stuff, too. Uh, just common stuff there. One time I bought a 1937 Schwinn out here. Oh, that's neat. See, that'll bring pretty good money to this sale, probably. But if it doesn't, there's a lot of money in there, anyway. But yeah, it was a 1937 Schwinn. And I thought it was going to go stupid high, so I left a bit of, I forget what. Oh, here's a whole bunch of neat old toys. I think I left a bit of, I think, three or $400, and I got that bike for like 50 bucks. I made a fortune on that thing. I think I sold it for five or 600 They're all kind of rough, but it looks kind of like a task force down in there. Yeah, it's a neat tub, and I'm sure that'll go high. They'll probably, what they'll do on something like this is they'll take them out and they'll choice it a few times, like... Or sell them one at a time or two or three at a time something like that depends on how big of a hurry they get in if they're running way far behind they'll pull it apart but like i say they're probably going to have multiple rings running and even then they're still going to go until probably late in the afternoon or evening yeah i don't see anything else super exciting so far my favorite thing has probably been that pile of toys oh and the truck bed trailer a lot of this stuff in this row here, there will probably be a scrapper show up probably about noon, maybe a little afternoon, and he'll buy a lot of this stuff here because like these here, they just don't have a whole lot of value, so he'll probably buy stuff like that for five bucks, five bucks. That'll probably bring decent money. But yeah, a lot of this stuff will just go for, 
go for scrap. Bunch of building materials. And see, this is a good place to buy building materials because I guarantee you most of this stuff here is going to go pretty cheap. Now, the scaffolding will probably go high. But as far as the actual building materials, they won't bring a whole lot of money. They never do. A lot of good lumber here. A lot of good tin. All these doors, stuff like that. All usually goes pretty cheap. And like sometimes if you're just messing around, you can make a little bit of money because like this pallet here, you could probably buy this stuff for a couple bucks a piece. And there's a heavy cast iron tub, a cast iron sink, and scrap value, there's probably about 40 or 50 bucks laying right here in this pile. I don't even know why somebody bothered bringing this out here. They really should have just hauled it to the scrap yard, but <laughs> I'll just leave that alone. Ball of wire. These are neat. I used to sell these things all the time for industrial art. You could buy them at sales like this, you know, for two, three bucks a piece, and then sell them for eight or ten bucks a piece. So there's a lot of opportunity to make money at sales like this. If the guy has the time, this is a neat hood. What is it, Chevy? Yeah, Chevy. Huh. Yeah, see, if I was staying, that would be something that I would buy. When the sale first started, it wasn't that big, and so he had probably four or five trailers up front up here, and then they had probably about maybe ten rows of stuff here, and then a little bit of stuff in the building, and that was it. But it's probably four times as big as it used to be. Don't really see any old bicycles. It's kind of a shocker, or, or nice quality bicycles either. It's all just Walmart specials. I've bought a lot of nice bikes at this sale in the past, whether they be old ones or high-end new ones. I'll check this thing out. This thing is in nice condition still. This old stove. Huh. See around here, a lot of people still use these. There's a lot of Amish in this area, and they still use that sort of stuff. Yeah, I don't really see anything else here. What in the world is this? Oh, a grain cleaner. <laughs> this is pretty neat here. See, this is something here I would definitely bid on if I was going to stay here. Wow. Separates the different qualities of grain, gets all the, the chaff and whatnot out. I don't know exactly how it works. I'm not a farmer, but that's definitely a neat piece. And it's portable, too, to where you can just pick it up and wheel it to where it needs to go, plug it in. That's pretty neat there. Hobbyist farmers will probably buy that up, though. It'll probably go pretty high. But yeah, here's a whole bunch of just scrap type stuff. There's a few good pieces in here. Kind of mixed together. It's all all a mix of different things and they mix it that way on purpose that way they can't just sell all the good stuff at once and then everybody leave that way everybody's standing around waiting for the good stuff and they might be tempted to bid on the not so good stuff is there any writing on these hog feeders no not really of course that's something that it doesn't sell as hot as they used to those hog feeders you used to be able to get a fortune out of those for art but anymore they just i don't know the market's shifting i think Right now, automotive art is really popular, and the farm art, not so much. Looks like mainly just wheels and tires back here. Yeah, so nothing I really need. All these hay wagons and hay carts and stuff like that. These are super popular around here because they run off the PTO, so you can pull them behind a tractor. These all go for pretty big money, like really big money. Those are all Amish type items, they'll bid on all those. Nobody will stand a chance on those because they got some deep pockets, that's for sure. <laughs> I always dreaded it. There was one, one guy when he would show up to the sales, he loved to buy antiques and you knew you didn't stand a chance. But he never bought automotive antiques, obviously, because they don't do cars. But. This is a neat boat. But yeah, anyway, I could get the automotive stuff, but all the other antiques, I didn't stand a chance on them. 
Huh. I'd like to get me a boat eventually, but probably want one a little bit bigger than that. I don't know when I'd ever have time to take it out anyway. I really want to make a shift though, because last month I really worked. I worked almost 550 hours. Here's a couple neat boats. Bass boats though. But anyway, that was just too much. And so I want to shift the way I do things a little bit now and take a little bit more time to go fishing and enjoy life a little bit instead of just working all the time. Tractors and tractors. Every now and then they have old cars here. I bought a few old cars at this sale. Campers, trucks and cars. Here's some old tractors. Bunch of old tractors. Minneapolis, Massey Ferguson. Now this is something I wanted to check out here. Is this trailer here? I'd like to get me one of these and make a camper out of it one of these days. But the problem is a lot of these military trailers don't have a title. And so they're over 2,000 pounds and so they're not technically legal to pull. Now if you use them for farm use you can go ahead and use them but if I made a camper out of it I'd get pulled over and get in trouble. So I'll have to ask and see if that has a title. I've got a couple beds and so what I thought about doing is just making my own because if I make my own then I can get a title for it as a home built trailer. And so I may go that route, I don't know. That's a future project though. I've got plenty of other projects I want to do first. This old Chevy is pretty nice here. C60. Yeah, this truck's real nice, but it'll go high. This is probably a three, four thousand dollar truck at the sale. I'm sure it'll fire up. What year is this thing? Oh, that's just repairs. I'm not sure what year this is. Late 60s, I think. 70 maybe, I'm not sure. Let's keep checking it out. There's what I need for my place, one of these days. But I want to get one with the bench seat in the back of it though, so the whole family can ride. But I definitely need to get me one of those eventually. Bunches of birdhouses. All these mowers. couple of motorcycles. Let's see what these are. Kawasaki and then what's this one here? It's missing the motor. I wonder if this is the one that all those parts came off of over there. Yeah, Honda, I bet you this is the one. I wonder why they separated all the stuff. See, this is where you make good money. Is you buy the pile of Honda parts over there and then you buy the Honda, you put it back together and then sell it. Once upon a time, I would have done that. Because you could probably buy this for cheap and that pile for cheap. And you put the two together, then you got a pretty high dollar bike. Somebody, if somebody else realizes what's going on, they'll make good money on that deal. Anything good I need? I don't think so. Nope, nothing I need. That's a pretty nice Yamaha there. This is an older one here, an old Kawasaki. I thought about getting something like this, just an old junkyard beater, but you know, I kind of want something nice that I can take out and go 4x4 in with as well. So I think I'll wait and find the right one for me. I'd rather spend more money and get exactly what I want than spend less money and get something I'm not happy with. I've learned that through the years. Bunch of old machines. Walk around over here, see what they are. Oh, coolant. Transmission service. Huh. Full basket full of license plates. Ohio, Kentucky, Ohio, Ohio. Somebody moved here from Ohio. I don't see any rare ones in there though. You know, I really don't see anything. I can't live without this sale. At first I was sad that I couldn't stay for the sale, but now I kind of don't really care. What's that? Needs Dextra Maltos? I don't have a clue what that is. Yeah, 
and more tools. Another couple sets of antlers. Bunch more antlers and skulls. Brand new DeWalt batteries. What do we got in here? Lights. Hose. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is just stuff people are like, yeah, I want to get rid of this. Maybe I can get a dollar for it. <laughs> but there's a lot of good stuff mixed in with it. Yeah, they'll spend hours on these trailers. I think that's about it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's about it. I missed these trailers. I didn't see these before. Although it doesn't look like there's anything greater than these. But what they'll probably do is they'll probably spend about an hour on the trailers and then one ring will shift off and go over to the field or something like that. And then around noon they'll announce it and they'll go up and start selling all the vehicles. Here's an old sign. No hunting without written permission. That's a cool sign there. That would come home with me if I was here. Nice old rust free Ford bed. Check those out. Those are some neat ones there. I might try to leave a bit on those. I don't know. We'll see. I was coming to take a thumbnail picture and I just noticed this. I missed that the first time. Big old cauldron. That one's kind of on the rough side though. Yeah, every time you go through here, you'll see something else. That's why I always like to come to these sales early. That way I can go through everything at least twice. Might hear something else I missed. A couple spools. Those are neat industrial art. Old barrels. I'll check out this window. It's kind of on the rough side, but that's a big one. Huh. Yeah, I didn't even see this stuff. Oh, here's some, uh, what are these? Are those, those gliders? Those kit gliders? Yeah, that's what these are. I guess those aren't even gliders. Those actually have engines in them. Huh. Went to a garage sale one time that had a ton of those hanging up in the garage everywhere, but some of you already came in and bought them all. Another time I went to a sale and they had a garage sale and they had just one of these motors sitting there, brand new in the box still, and they wanted five bucks for it. So I bought that. I forget what I sold that for on eBay, but it was good money. That same sale actually was in a real rich neighborhood and I was looking through some stuff and there's a box of Hot Wheels for like three bucks or four bucks, something like that. So I bought it, got it home, and there was a 12 karat gold watch in there. Made really good money on that. Here's a good pile of hubcaps. See right there, there's a couple hundred bucks. If you're willing to get out there and hustle, there's money to be made. That's for sure. I'm doing one last walk around. Make sure there's nothing else. I don't know if I want to leave bids or not. I might see if Skyler's coming here. He likes to come to the sale. So if he's coming out here, I might just leave bids with him. Otherwise, I may not leave any bids at all. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a glimpse of what a farm consignment sale is like out here in this area. I know a lot of you don't get to see stuff like this very often. I'm putting it on the second channel just because I'm not able to actually stay for the sale. So I know this video won't be quite as interesting as my normal videos would be. Come over here to check this boat out one more time. But if you enjoyed this quick little video, give it a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And stay tuned for the next adventure. Like I say, I got some pretty fun stuff coming up. With that, I'll let you all go. Remember to get out there, find an adventure. We'll see you next time.